I'm Kelly Warden, Executive Director of Art from the Streets, and I have a surprise to show you. Come on in. We're so excited to share our new space from Art for Art from the Streets. It's in Canopy. It is filled with a lot of other creatives and we can't wait to get our artists here to create and be a part of this program here in this new space. A wheel and spoke program that we have right now is not sustainable. We're constantly being squeezed out of our storage, out of time to create, as well as gallery opportunities. This is going to help support and project our program to the future. We can't wait for ours to be here to create. We can't wait for you to come see this space. This is going to be the new future home of Art from the Streets. I went to Chicago from uh, grad school. I live downtown, uh, right downtown. And uh, some friends uh, and I, we were right downtown and there was this line between uh, River North, which is where I lived, and Cabrini Green. Yeah, it's separated by train tracks. And uh, what we did is we started a dinner for homeless folks in our apartment um, regularly. So we did that for a few years and really got to, to know and understand and really understand where these folks are coming from. So when Kelly Warden approached me about this and asked for us to, to help them with this, I mean, this is completely in our wheelhouse in terms of, um, you know, that, that relationship of uh, trying to make a home and a place uh, for uh, homeless artists, for a community of homeless folks. Uh, there's a really strong paradigm there that we want to embrace that mission and in fact, you know, in my firm we often talk about this and we, we try to do in all of our work is to align the buildings and align the architecture with the mission of the clients. And so that paradigm of having a homeless population that we're trying to house is a, is a really exciting one for us and, and so that's how we've tried to engage that in architecture. The space itself is interesting in that what we're trying to do is create spaces that are flexible and dynamic, yet can be tidy and can be clean, and really just provide backdrop and background for the artists to do their work. We've drawn it and modeled it in three dimensions here, and what you see actually is that this space is a perfect four square. And so we're showing it here without that wall that we're gonna remove. And what this allows for is a flexibility and a kind of dynamics to the space. As we contemplated this and as we thought through this, what we're trying to do is create spaces, define spaces within this that the artists can use, that visitors can also use as they visit. So what we're trying to do is create a space that can be flexible and dynamic to accommodate these different types of programs. We are designing a flexible panel that in some cases it's just a panel for exhibit. So the orange in this case represents just drywall so that it can be fixed to and then repainted as needed. So a series of just drywall panels, a series of panels that houses flat work and artwork. They have a need for storage and whatnot, and so the flat work would be housed in both horizontal and vertical format within a series of these panels. And then they have two by six tables that are foldable and stackable, and folding chairs that we would be able to accommodate within these panels. And that these panels are on casters, they're made to be flexible, they're made to house exhibit space. I hope they feel loved. I hope that they feel peace and a protection by being in the space that 
are from the streets is providing and through the design that we're hoping to provide for them. I hope that they feel loved and invested in. It's worthwhile to invest in, in them and to help. And so I think that, you know, as much as anything through the experience of engaging a space for art, certainly that's what we're trying to do is provide a place where they can make their art. I hope that they just have a sense of peace and, and, and love and protection um, in this place as they're using it. We can't wait to show you the opportunities we're going to have in this space. Gallery shows are going to be frequent in this space. We look forward to having storage for our program. Storage that's going to provide um, supplies as well as storing artwork for our artists. That storage is for three years for our artists and we have to have a space to keep that and keep it safe. We also look forward to extended hours that are going to allow our artists to paint every day. We look forward to a Women's Only Wednesday. We look forward to having everyone create with us in longer hours than we have right now. We look forward to bringing professional artists in to create with our program and with our artists. Bring other people into this space to create a community that's larger than even who we are. To actually bring in our mission to everyone in this area. If Art from the Streets had its own space, its own hours, that would be amazing. I think that's just, it's like a library for art. Some place where you could just go and like check in, depending on the hours and, and everyone would feel comfortable and just go when they could make time. Some place we can splash paint all over the place and not care. <laughs> Some place that we can create other avenues of creation with um, sculpture, with printmaking, with weaving, with yoga other holistic type of time to create that brings in all of these pieces and parts to support our artists. If Art from the Streets had their own studio, they would be able to cater to a diverse group of artists, not just painters. We have amazing momentum right now with our Large Gifts campaign. The resources that have been brought to our program are sustaining us right now, but we need to do more. Our program needs to do more. Will you be able to help us expand our reach, reach out to more people in our community, and do more for the artists that are homeless and at risk in Austin?